What makes a good grip, and specifically a good key grip? Well, first off, you need to know what a grip is. The grip department is a subsection of the grip and electric department in the film and television industry. Grips are responsible with rigging everything, everything on set, anything that the camera will go on to and that the camera is moving on, like a dolly or a crane or jib, anything lighting-wise that a light will be attached to. All of that rigging is up to the grip department. Now, I did not work as a grip um, really at all over the last year, but I did work as a gaffer and lead grips and was over uh, quite a few grips. And I have quite a few notes on what makes a good grip versus what makes a bad one. And that's what we'll be talking about today. First and foremost, you absolutely have to meet your grip, your key grip, ahead of time if you're a gaffer because you want to be able to establish communication with your grip and have your grip understand every setup that you're going to have that day or that shoot. If you have to explain a setup to a grip day of, um, that's a complicated setup, it can put you back. Uh, Time-wise, it takes forever to explain sometimes, so it's really helpful to include your key grip in the pre-production process, even if it's just sitting down for an hour or two on the phone talking about, here are the lighting setups that we have, here are the things that you are going to need to be able to rig. It's very important to also understand inventory. As a grip, understand what you have, the stains at your disposal, all of your accessories at your disposal, any kind of rigging equipment, your dolly equipment. Do you have a crane? Do you have anything? Really, you just wanna make sure that you know exactly what you have and exactly what is going to be expected of your department ahead of time, because if you don't have what you need, that needs to be communicated. Something else that you want to make sure that you do is keep within earshot of the gaffer in between scenes. You want to always be listening to the gaffer and the DP. A lot of times they won't include you in a conversation, but you want to be within earshot. If there's a good gaffer and a good DP, they won't mind you listening in on their conversation because you will be able to know what is involved in the next setup. And if they have changed anything, you will be able to know what you need to bring to the table, what you need to bring gear-wise and start setting up and then you are able to communicate with your grips if you have any or just start going and getting this equipment yourself. It's incredibly important to be always listening and always paying attention. If you can stay one step ahead of the gaffer, then that gaffer will rehire you in a heartbeat. Now, that's not to say read the gaffer's mind. Of course, you can't read the gaffer's mind. But if you have been good at communication and you are consistently listening to what the gaffer and the DP are talking about, then you will have a very good idea of what's next and what they will need. As a grip, you are going to need to understand the mechanics of a C-stand very well. If you've never worked with a C-stand, I would recommend going in and learning one. You can find them, talk to really any grip and electric person, they will have one or have access to one. Understand a C-stand from top to bottom, understand it as well as you can, how to rig it, how to do different um, maneuvers and different positions with a C-stand because you will always need to rig a light in a weird spot and a C-stand is your best bet. Also, don't forget safety sandbag everything if you don't sandbag something and a light or the camera falls that's on you you are the grip you are supposed to rig something and that ain't going nowhere that's on you so make sure that you have tightened down everything that you have sandbagged everything safety 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 is 100 percent a priority really i could get into the specifics of every little detail of what a key grip is going to be expected of and the different techniques and really you just gotta get in there and learn it but definitely making sure that you understand a c-stand understanding communication and listening and understanding ahead of time what is expected that will take you leaps and bounds farther than somebody who understands the technical aspects better than you all in all being a grip is just phenomenal and grips are appreciated across the board even though there are some weird stereotypes about grips they're really awesome people and if you can get in as a grip it really is a great 
line of work. If you're ever interested in learning more about this, hit me up in the comments. I will maybe do another video about the specifics and the job specifics and maybe the more technical aspects of being a grip. But for now, that should get you started and get you uh, a long way in the eyes of a producer or in the eyes of a gaffer who may be hiring you. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.